Today we have got a fascinating topic to dive into. DPKG versus Apt. Being a Linux user, we are very much familiar with these two terms. But do you really know the differences between them? Or how they work to manage software packages on your system? In this video, we are going to break down the fundamentals of DPKG and Apt. How they relate to each other and when to use one over the other. For your help, don't forget to check out the video description box for the used commands and website links. First, let's answer the question what is DPKG? DPKG is a fundamental package management tool used for handling Debian operating systems and their variations. Its primary role is to manage operations like installing, uninstalling and providing details about Debian packages. Now let's explore Apt, which is short for the Advanced Package Tool is the go-to system for handling software in Debian-based distributions. It's the tool that takes charge of managing, updating, installing, and uninstalling packages for the operating system. DPKG and apt differ on parameter, function, and syntax. In terms of parameter, DPKG handles mainly Debian files, whereas apt handles front end of DPKG. For tools, dpkg uses a simple command line tool, and apt employs a graphical user interface like Synaptic. dpkg's repository has limited range, and apt has wide range. With dpkg, packages often require manual installation or come from downloaded packages, but apt can fetch them directly from a repository. dpkg has lower performance, allowing only basic package installation, removal, and querying but apt offers higher performance and a more user-friendly interface. Neither dpkg nor apt supports rollback functionality. Let's look at some functional differences. Both dpkg and apt can list the installed packages. Apt can download packages from remote repositories. Both of them allow installation from local files. Apt supports installation from remote files. Also, apt can handle dependencies automatically. Although dpkg and apt share similar commands, this comparison table outlines their syntax differences. Although the choice between dpkg and apt depends on the user's perspective, let me outline some key distinctions between them. DPKG offers direct package management without involving repositories or network connections, making it suitable for inspecting individual package files. However, it lacks automatic dependency resolution and doesn't access remote repositories. In contrast, apt relies on DPKG for package management, automatically resolves dependencies, provides access to remote repositories, and offers a more user-friendly experience with simplified commands and progress bars during installation. So as an end user, it's essential to consider these factors when deciding which package manager to use. What do you think about using DPKG? Well, for an end user, DPKG is generally not a practical choice, as it's a low-level tool that often necessitates manual package downloads, resolution of dependencies, and upgrading to newer package versions. To avoid these complexities, apt can be a more suitable choice as it can perform all these tasks with a single command. Additionally, apt allows you to install packages using only their name without requiring the full package name. Both dpkg and apt offer the ability to install, remove, and purge packages. They also support package search and provide detailed package information. Let's see some example. To install a Debian package, you have to download a Debian file manually. I have already downloaded some packages. For the website link to download packages, check out the description box. Now open the terminal and to check the download, navigate to the downloads folder. And here you can see I have already downloaded three Debian packages. Now I will install the two disk package using dpkg. For that, enter the command sudo dpkg dash i then the folder name downloads and then the file name 
I'm copying the file name from here. And now hitting the enter button. I have to provide my password. And the package has been installed. For your information, if you face any dependency error, you can use the command sudo app install dash f. This dash f option will fix the broken dependencies and any package corruption issues. So as I haven't faced any dependencies, I am not running this command. Now I will remove the package using dpkg. For that, enter the command sudo dpkg-r and the package name which is to disk. No need to enter the full name. Now hit on the enter button. Providing my password. And the to disk package is removed. Again, navigate to the downloads folder. And here you can see a Debian package of TeamViewer. Suppose I want to uninstall this package completely, including its configuration files. In that case, I can use the purge command. For example, enter the command sudo dpkg dash capital P and the file name, which is TeamViewer. And now hitting on the enter button, providing my password. And you can see the configuration files have been purged. Now I will install a package using app. For that, enter the command sudo app install and the package name. Suppose I want to install the package vlc. So the package name vlc. And hit enter. Press Y to continue. And you can see VLC package has been downloaded and installed successfully. Now to remove a package with the configuration file, use the command sudo apt purge and the file name. Suppose I want to remove the VLC file. So I have written VLC and hitting on the enter button. Pressing Y to continue. And yeah, you can see VLC is removed from my system. In summary, when we look at TPKG and apt, they share a common purpose. But apt emerges as the modern and user-friendly evolution of DPKG. Apt simplifies its package management, excels at complex tasks, and is the wiser choice for a smoother, comprehensive experience. Consider opting for apt to unlock its powerful features for your Linux system. That concludes today's content. I trust you found this video informative. Don't forget to check out our other videos on Linux. Happy Linuxing!